So the, the title of the project is very long. <laughs> it's the development of a flexible and energy efficient pressurized microwave heating process to produce free dish shaped renewable biopolymer foams for novel generation of transportation packaging. Some fast facts, as I've just mentioned, uh, the project was presented in 2008 within the Seven Framework Program in the area of flexible, efficient processing for polymers. The contract type is collaborative project targeted to special groups such as SMEs. In fact, uh, quite a big percentage of the partners within the project are SMEs. The, the partners are 10 from uh, eight different countries. The project cost is more than 5 million euros, and the project lasts uh, 48 months from the 1st February 2009 till the 31st uh, January 2013, so the, the project is currently running. As the project title suggests, the, the objective is to develop a flexible, energy efficient and environmentally sustainable manufacturing process enabling the production of biodegradable foamed 3D shade packaging originating from expandable starch-based polymer pellets material. And the expansion and foaming of the biopolymer is driven by microwave technology exploiting the inner water content of the material itself to generate vapor. Why Rebuform, why we decided to present this project in uh, 2008? Because bio-based plastics are an emerging and highly promising solution for protective transport <coughs> packaging. And this is true for two main reasons. The first one is that bioplastics contribute to overcome environmental concerns, such as the depletion of no renewable fossil resources. And the second one that is that uh, thanks to uh, bioplastics, biodegradable and compostable nature, bioplastics offer an innovative sustainable disposal option. So the, the novel foam produced by, thanks to, to the project, uh, will uh, represent an alternative to expanded materials traditionally applied for cash and transport packaging but offering the additional advantage represented by the novel material being biodegradable and compostable. The specific objectives of Rebiofoam. So, firstly, uh, the first objective is the development of a proper formulation of the base material in order to achieve a molded foam product meeting functional requirements for transport packaging and uh, according to this, also the development of an appropriate extrusion process. The second objective is the evaluation of the effects of microwave fields on pellet expansion rate and performances, enabling an efficient design of the microwave oven, as well as an efficient tuning of operational parameters required for expansion. Third objective, the comparison of dielectric properties of different mount materials and the selection of the most appropriate material for mold coating. Fourth objective, <laughs> the development of an efficient microwave molding system and of an automated pilot plant prototype to demonstrate the viability of the technologies at a larger semi-industrial scale that will be used produ to produce a variety of foam packaging product prototypes for different applications. And finally, the development of a process simulator to tune molding and process parameters based on the required final shape and characteristics of the packaging products, guaranteeing the full flexibility the, to the process itself. As I have already mentioned, the project partners are 10 from eight different countries, so from Ireland, from UK, the Netherlands, Germany, Poland, Czech Republic, three partners from Italy, and a partner from uh, Spain. In uh, this slide you have a um, summary of the partners' main uh, areas of activities and their role in the project as well. Um, Novamont, <coughs> the, the company I belong to, comes from Italy and um, its core business is in the field of bioplastics from renewable raw materials of agricultural origin. 
uh, Novamont coordinates project and within it, it deals with the formulation and blending of various material, uh, the evaluation of rheology, with the evaluation of pellets conditioning and handling, the development and characterization of the biofoam, that is to say the final product, and last but not least, with the life cycle analysis. CTEC is a company providing R&D services, and it is based in UK. It has a special expertise in the development of thermal processing equipment, and that is why in the project it is developing the microwave process and equipment. FEN is uh, from Italy, and it is an industrial food machine producer, for, uh, especially for pasta, snacks, and uh, pellets. Uh, within the project, it is uh, developing the adapter polymer pelletizing machine, that is to say the extruder. Then we have the Fraunhofer Institute for Applied Polymer Research from Germany, uh, which is evaluating the optimal pellet characteristics enabling smooth expansion of the biopolymer. Then the Czech University of Prague, in particular the Faculty of Electrical Engineering, uh, which is m in the project which is modeling of field, the field and it transfer to optimize temperature profiles within the dielectric heating equipment. And then we have uh, another partner, Itene from Spain, which is a technological center for packaging, transport <coughs> and logistics, with, which is characterizing the packaging performances according to standards. Then Chemtex uh, from Italy, uh, which is the engineering department of Mossig Isolfi Group. In the project, Chemtex has already defined the conceptual design and the high level production requirements and specification guiding the manufacturing process. And it is currently integrated the key manufacturing steps into an automated pilot line. Recticel and Complas are both foam uh, and packaging manufacturer and uh, sellers. And in the project, they both validate packaging prototypes and process, processing technologies. Finally, Electrolux Poland from Poland, of course, <laughs> which is a very important producer of household appliances and equipment for cleaning and kitchens. Um, it is the, the project end user and validator for the household, household appliance pilot consumer market. <laughs> in this slide, you, you can see the general project approach. Uh, in green, you can see the technical work packages, while in uh, white, we have two other work packages dealing respectively with the scenario study and the IPR and uh, dissemination management, which is the work package I am responsible for. As you can see, I don't know <laughs> why. Okay, this is the correct picture. <laughs> As you can see from the pictures uh, at the left, at the right, sorry, uh, the, um, the, the final demonstrator, the, the, the final output of the, of the project is the, a porthole spacer for washing machine. And this is the um, demonstrator we have identified uh, according to our end users, but as I've already mentioned, the, the process is supposed to be very flexible and to produce a variety of uh, packaging products for different applications. Okay. So let's see more details, the contents of the different work packages. The, the first one, as uh, I've already mentioned, is the scenario study, such as, that is to say, a comprehensive review of sustainable packaging issues, such as relevant legislation, market analysis, the identification of technical and functional properties of competing technologies, as well as common industrial practices applied. And the output of the, this work package is also the, the production of high-level guidelines for the development of biodegradable foam 3D shaped packaging from biopolymers. Work package number two deals with pellets preparation and uh, it is divided in three main actions. The first one is the material formulation, the second one the pellet extrusion process 
and the third, the um, identification of pellets conditioning and handling conditions in order to achieve the adequate physical chemical characteristics of the pellet, enabling smooth expansion. Where package number three, foam molding technologies, aimed at identifying uh, microwave transparent uh, mold materials and surface treatments, while work package four and five deals resp deal respectively with the microwave assisted expansion process and process modeling. So the, during the, the first one, project partners will deal with, are dealing currently, uh, with the efficient design of the microwave cavity <coughs> with controlled dielectric heating profiles and to the development of a pilot scale expansion system prototype enabling to validate the performance of the process and to optimize the design before the process integration. While the second uh, one, the work package number five, um, aim at mo uh, modeling of its distribution in the, in the cavity and the mouth to assist the development of the microwave chamber and then to the setting up uh, of a process simulator to identify ideal combinations of process parameter settings such as temperature, eating profiles, field distribution, etc., in function of the mold geometry and dimension. Work package six, very, very important, is the development of an automated semi-industrial pilot <coughs> process line integrating all the key processing steps and the uh, pilot scale process units. And this pilot process implementation aids the consortium in assessing also the techno-economical viability of implementing the process to a larger industrial scale after project completion. The work package number seven uh, aims at defining the specification for the design of a package system prototype according to uh, the end user requirements. <laughs> then it deals with the prototyping uh, trials of expanded form, form package systems by means of the uh, same industrial process line. And then it, um, it is realizing a full characterization of mechanical performance, discussion behaviors, and biodegradability of the packaging system prototypes. Work package number eight, which is very, very important for us, it is life cycle analysis. This is to say an analysis of the cradle to grave cycle of bio-based transport packaging products. And the result of this work package would allow to the consortium to clearly identify the added value provided by the biopolymer foam in terms of environmental friendliness and sustainability, not only of the product, but of the overall process. Finally, the work package nine on IPR management, exploitation and dissemination aiming at identifying uh, appropriate measures for managing dissemination and exploitation of project results. And uh, another output of uh, this uh, work package will be the definition of a training plan and training material to ensure optimal use of the system. <laughs> so where we are now? <laughs> Uh, since the first February 2011, the project entered its third year. So from a first phase uh, in which the consortium tried to develop the enabling material and processing technologies, we have now entered in a second phase in which uh, we are demonstrating the applicability of the developed material and processes. And this is happening mainly through two main actions. The first one is the manufacturing of protective packaging demonstrators, while the second one is the construction of a pilot foaming process. So thank you very much for your attention. And <laughs>